I am nervous about making this record because it is the first time I have been chosen for my voice. I hope that my sweet tones will not hurt my listeners as much as my bowling hurt the Australian Board of Control. Regarding leg theory, which is not and never was bodyline bowling at all, I have never in my life bowled at any batsman. My friend Jack Hobbs has written in his book the following statement. As long as leg theory remains in the game, you cannot continue to point to anything doubtful and say that is not cricket. Now, Jack, I resign leg theory bowling being looked upon as not cricket. I should like to have an estimate from Jack of how many times during his career his bat has been completely beaten by the cleverness of the bowler for the ball to be kept out of the wicket only by his pads. Does Jack really consider an action which robs the bowler of a wicket to be fair cricket? I know it is not against the laws of cricket, but neither is my fast leg theory bowling. If Jack thinks it is fair play, then let him label those who use their pads too much padsmen and not batsmen. Actually, it is pad play which is partly responsible for the leg side attack. So, if the latter is not cricket, players who use their pads too much must shoulder at least some of the blame for it. I am afraid my friend Frank Foster flatters me when he estimates our ball at 90 miles per hour. Is it possible for anyone to bowl so fast? I cannot agree with Mr. Foster that either my bowling or that of any fast left-hander bowling over the wicket is extremely dangerous. If his view is really the case, then it is a strange thing that the umpires at the MCC have never so much as considered the prohibition of an extremely dangerous practice. I am also astonished that with all his experience, Mr. Foster has failed to discover that it is not the short pitch fast ball that hits the batsman. In my opinion, the whole matter of danger in fast bowling has been greatly exaggerated. I hope the parents addressed by Mr. Foster will let their boys play against as much fast bowling as they can. Believe me, it, it is not fast class cricket unless there is some really fast bowling in it. The truth is that a few critics with access to grind and a few of our more elderly batsmen are getting nervy. What, may I ask, will happen next summer if the Australian team arrives with two bowlers as fast or faster than myself. If we are to believe the Shriekers, the only thing to be done then would be to refuse to play against them. Would that be cricket? No. Cricket is our national game. Let us zealously guard its traditions and trust the petty squabbles that surround it at the moment will merely serve to enable it to emerge greater, stronger and more British than ever before.